начинается. Hello, amigos. Can you imagine Portugal without azulejo? It's like Portugal without pastel de nata. The components are simply inseparable for creating a perfect cultural recipe. In this video, we'll take a stroll through the Azulejo Museum in Lisbon and I'll tell you a bit about the museum's history, giving you some spoilers that will surely motivate you to visit this amazing place. Azulejo has Arabic origins and signifies ceramic pieces of mosaic. If, like me, you were impressed by this bright, unusual tile, I highly recommend you visiting the Azulejo Museum in Lisbon. The museum itself is quite far from the city center and honestly the best way to get there in my opinion would be Uber or a taxi. Founded in 1960, the museum is located in the building of the Mother of God Monastery. Monasteiro de Madre de Deus, established by Queen Dona Eleanor. As the museum building itself is not large, only a small part of its wealth is displayed. Most of the tiles can be observed through transparent glass in the so-called warehouses. The incredible Asian chapelle is a part of the exhibition. It beautifully combines shining golden ornaments with the white and blue tiles, along with the wooden carved ceiling. Trust me, it's something you need to see with your own eyes. Moving from room to room, you can not only see the different tile creation styles, but also understand the history of each period and style. Prepare your glasses if you have poor eyesight, as there will be a lot of reading, various signs and information on the museum walls. But believe me, it's worth it. Tanka нашла крылья. Довольна ты. Нашла кота пса. Special approach to a wall decoration emerged in Portugal in the 15th century, rooted in Arab traditions. The Moors brought their aspect of Arab culture with them to the Iberian Peninsula during their rule after the fall of the Roman Empire. Just look at this amazing storage of the tiles. We spoke about it before.
Initially, the Portuguese imported tiles from Seville and later from Flanders. In the second half of the 16th century, Flemish specialists were invited to Lisbon and they, in return, taught the Portuguese this craft. Thus, by the beginning of the 18th century, Lisbon became a center of production. And now, my friends, we are entering to this amazing church that I have told you before. From the 19th century, the art of azulejo spread widely across Portugal, decorating churches, monasteries, palaces and estates with the diverse panels depicting religious scenes, hunting, battles, mythology and of course satire. The painting style changed according to the era, from the late 17th to the early 18th centuries, under the influence of Dutch culture, Azulejo adopted a blue and white color scheme. It is known today that many outstanding azulejo pieces were destroyed during the 1755 earthquake. After reconstruction due to the necessity of the rapid construction, there was a return to simplified ornamentation. In the inner courtyard of the 
former monastery, ceramics and tile painting workshops are often held. In the museum you can see an interesting exhibit from the early 19th century. The story of the life of the successful hatter Antonio Joaquin Carneiro. The series of panels narrates the success story of a citizen who went from a poor shepherd to the owner of a hat factory, a self-made man as we would say today. The museum regularly hosts various workshops and history and tile painting classes. You can also come to see museum without prior registration and paint your own personal azulejo. You can receive it after 7 days and the tile will be fired in the museum's muffled kiln. But if you pay for postal services, they will send it straight to your home. also future works by contemporary artists. Oh, I just love this part. Let's not overlook them. We found you. And what did we find? My friends, let me tell you about a must-see gem of the collection. It's the giant panel depicting the panorama of Lisbon, with a note that this city is portrayed before the 1755 earthquake. You can take a sample of Portuguese art with you if you can't resist the temptation to buy something cute in the souvenir shop. The assortment is enormous and everyone can find something as a memento for themselves or as a gift to a friend. Как тебе? Мне очень понравилось. Ты пьяная, что ли? Ты что? Инкривил. Все. Ты же почти мой жар рапида. Инкривил.